Hey, what's going on guys? So we are at another Pregnancy Diaries 34 weeks. Oh my God. Um, <laughs> scary. I had just left work. Um, we're getting close to the hospital where the OBG is. So I figured I would start talking to you guys. So I can't remember what we necessarily talked about in our last Pregnancy Diaries. I know that I had gotten the prolapsed uterus checked out it wasn't what I thought it was um there's no real update on that it you know I'm still experiencing some discomfort but nothing alarming um Hunter is I'm just very uncomfortable which I feel like I've been saying for the past like two months <laughs> there is very little room left <laughs> in my stomach um <clears throat> he's the size of a I think a winter squash and the next size up is a watermelon and that's all I have to get to so he could technically born be born at any time now which is crazy like but you know of course want him baking for as long as possible so um, you know I can wait a couple more weeks I'm still at work and stuff I thought I was gonna be done with work at this point but because it is the holidays like we are so busy that I kind of feel not obligated but like I feel like you know it's your family you want to be there to help so if I have the strength in me to do so then I'm going to stay and help because otherwise I'm just going to be at home not doing nothing but Hunter's room is not ready you know so it's not like I can decorate the nursery and stuff like I want to so I figured I might as well stay at work make a little bit of money up until the actual pregnancy or, you know, I'll, I'll definitely leave. Well, <laughs> I'll definitely leave like a week before my due date or something. <laughs> I was going to say a couple weeks, but knowing myself, I don't know. I, I will leave when I feel like I'm ready to leave. But, um, you know, things are definitely getting harder and harder at work. Um, and I feel bad. I kind of feel like, a, uh, what's the word I'm trying to think of? not an obligation um I can't think of the right word that I want to I want to use but I feel like I more so get in the way more often than I I want to especially around this time of year where we're so busy with catering yes I can get catering together but I can't lift the heavy trees so you know, I will take an order and everything, but then I have to go and find somebody to help me actually physically bring the order out. So, um, you know, it's, it's frustrating on my end not to be able to do my job to the fullest, but it's like, I can't control that. <laughs> so at the same time, I understand. If you guys had ever gotten to know me in person, I, I, I'm just a person that I can't sit still for very long. I can't sit still for very long. I um, I always have prided myself on being a hard worker. So it's just, with Ella, I think I left about a month earlier. She was due in August and I think I left in July. And, um, you know, I didn't, I didn't regret it because I really enjoyed like the rest of the summer to myself, but I also felt like I could keep working if I had stayed. So this time I'm like, you know what? <laughs> I'm leaving work right around the holidays, which is always financially burden, which is always a financial burden. Um, I might as well just keep, keep the money coming in. I still gotta buy, you know, bottles and stuff. I don't have any bottles. I have to be prepared to buy formula, which is not cheap by any means. So, you know, I'm just kind of like mentally preparing for some um, new financial burdens coming our way. And I don't mean my child's formula is a burden, but you know what I mean? Like not the typical bills that you're used to, you know? I have been talking your guys' ears off about work. <laughs> um, but anyways, I just pulled in. I'm about 15 minutes early. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it's just going to be a super quick appointment. Um, I'm hoping to get in and out because I still got to pick up Ella a little before three. I might stop at Dunkin' Donuts. I want to stop at the bank if I have some time. So I think the sooner that I can get in, the sooner that they can possibly take me. Um, hopefully, they're just going to check my weight again. I think I was one... 
42 two weeks ago um, and then hopefully just my blood pressure and then measure me and hear the heartbeat kind of like a normal routine sort of thing um, and then we will do this again 36 weeks and then I think most likely after that my weeks are gonna become my appointments are gonna become weekly right now they're bi-weekly but all right let me get my booty in there and see what they have to say so far just standard procedure blood pressure went up two pounds so the doctor will be in in just a minute okay right, we're all set quick appointment like i was hoping it's super icy that reminds me i actually took a really really hard fall um a couple of days ago let me just pay attention and then i'll talk to you guys in the car again i have better shoes on today than i did the day that i fell but yeah i Ella has school, so I got her in the car, and then it was in my driveway, so normally I walk like around the front of my car to get in, but this day I decided to walk around the back. Do you hear how windy it is? It's so cold, but I guess it's supposed to warm up by Monday, which is weird. It's going to be like 50, and today is like 19 degrees. Anyways, yeah, I, um, instead of walking around the front of my car to get in I decided to walk around the back and I didn't see a patch of ice and I had on um like rain boots because I I just haven't ordered boots with the holiday like I've been so preoccupied with Ella that I just keep forgetting to order winter boots which I'm gonna do very soon because I really need them um but I had on rain boots that don't have the best grip so I fell so hard, but like I didn't fall on my stomach. Like I fell kind of on my side, like my elbow, my right elbow took the brute of the fall. So my back hurt that day, my arm hurt, but it was just like, cause I twisted my body as I fell, trying to avoid my stomach. But yeah, that wasn't fun. And so I kind of like Googled what to do if you fall during like late term pregnancy. And it just said to like, you know, if you start cramping or if you have bleeding or stuff like that. And so I just monitored my, I monitored myself that entire day and I, I was fine. So there was no real concern. I was just, you know, I was hurting from falling. <laughs> One thing, this is so embarrassing, but like this whole series is embarrassing. So whatever. But like some of the symptoms that I've been kind of experiencing recently is like my butt hurts. Y'all like it is, it hurts so bad in the sense of like, like have you ever done butt or thigh workouts and your butt just feels sore? Like, like, like if you worked out the muscles, that's what it feels like, but all the time. And then, and then at night, you know, I've still been experiencing heartburn. I haven't really taken anything for it because at this point it's not as bad as it was. So I'm kind of like, well, I can, I can kind of get through it sort of thing. Um, and it, so like the heartburn's kind of settling down a little bit, but one thing that I've been noticing, and I don't know if it's because I've been working so much because, you know, I posted something on my community post saying that I haven't like kept up with vlogmas because I was helping my family business and we've been so busy. So I've been working long hours. So I'm wondering if it's like my my leg will cramp in the middle of the night. Usually my calf on one on one leg will cramp. And it is the most painful thing I've ever experienced. And I've done childbirth. <laughs> like it hurts so bad. One night it happened and I was in tears. I had tears streaming down my face because of how bad my leg was cramping. And I had experienced this before even working these long shifts. It was just like particularly bad after these long shifts. That was something new that I was experiencing. But other than that, I mean, everything has been pretty much the same. The baby's still growing. There's no concern for his health. Um, they listened to the heartbeat too while I was there and he's moving around. He's happy as can be, he's a happy clam. <laughs> So that's all I care about. Um, so I will see you guys at 36 weeks. I'm about to jump on the highway. It's about to get loud. So I'm going to end today's video. I love you guys so much. We're almost there. We're almost there.
there. Woo <laughs> um, and I was right, by the way. My after my next appointment in two weeks, my appointments are going to be weekly, so you might get um, pregnancy diaries a little more often. We'll see, but I will see you guys soon. Yeah.